Hey guys and welcome to another very special episode of Parlay Revival where we invite 60 of our Patreons down to Mexico for a four day event to race with us in the Banderas Bay Regatta and then we go out on a soup yacht to have one huge party together. We had been planning this for months and was our last hurrah before we set sail across the Pacific Ocean to French Polynesia. There would be no Parlay Revival without our Patreons so it's always an absolute pleasure to host these gatherings twice a year for the people who keep this channel alive. Oh, and watch till the end to see the reaction from the patron who has carefully chosen to sail across the Pacific Ocean with us. With Hurricane Irma, boats toss. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Okay, so it's happening. We have entered the Banderas Bay Regatta. Wait, is it 91 or 60? We organized the Bacchus del Toro Regatta for that first year and they, they do it every year now as an annual uh, race. These are the sailing instructions. It's basically a booklet of all the rules and regulations and everything like that. Yeah, it's just a lot to take in. And there's six different classes of yachts. So we're class number three, which is multi-hulls. In the multi-hull division, it's two other trimarans and a Hobie Cat. And we're obviously a big cruising catamaran. The good thing is if we beat any one of those three other boats, we make the podium because first, second and third all get a prize for each class. So it was going to be a massive three days of racing out on the bay based on our assigned handicap. We had to split the patrons up into three groups of 20 so each group would get at least one day of racing with us. So the first group soon started arriving at the boat. Morning! Morning, Morning guys! <laughs> It's bad, cool, I'm more ice and beer. We were ready to push off the dock to see what Parley could do against a fleet of around 30 other boats. Good luck! I'm only friends with winners! <laughs> that was a good shot right there, baby. We're just slowly cruising up there. Our start time is 1.05. So we're gonna get a five minute warning at one o'clock. That's when we have to really start jockeying for the right position. And we wanna be crossing the start line like one second after we hear that horn. There's no other catamarans. We're the only catamaran with the balls to come out and do this. So we're out here. Thanks for being here, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Hey. <laughs> Number one handicap. Well done, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to be back. I raced with them in um, Focus and I think we're going to do even better. So up went the brand new sails which you saw us install last week as we were about to start jockeying for position. Getting a good start was going to be crucial if we were going to be competitive on day one. By the way this is Joel, he comes from the same part of Auckland in New Zealand that I grew up in and he's flown all the way from New Zealand to be here so we're letting him pull some line. First, everyone had to radio in to register for the race. This is parlay number 1616. Parlay 16, we got you in. Thank you. Such a pretty sailboat. I hate monoholes, but it's, it's beautiful. It's going to be awesome. We're definitely going to win it. 100%. The Kiwi said it. <laughs> we got a win now. Seven, right, we're going. Ready? Here we nine, go. Eight, seven. Okay, tighten six, up on everything. Five, eight, right up. Stop, stop, stop. Just off the spreader. Go, Jamie. Go, Jamie. He's gone. All right, so Regatta Live for the patrons. We've got patrons aboard. We have so many parlay patrons that are far away that couldn't come. We want you guys to be a part of it. So, so boom, we're going to go live right now. we got a bunch of patrons aboard. Look, this could be you. <laughs> this could have been you right here. We're about to have a collision. Are we? Yeah. Let me get this on film, baby. All right, so this is what it looks like when you're about to crash into somebody else. So we're on port tack right now, so technically uh, we have to give way. The start of the race is always the most dangerous because the boats are so close together. You have to have a solid understanding of the collision regulations, most commonly known as the coal rigs, as boats literally come within inches of smashing into each other as they compete for a good start. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, that was close. 
Yeah, we definitely had to make a call there and I think we, we were good to stand on, but it's those moments in racing where you have to make those decisions quickly. So now things are getting super interesting. All the boats are coming super close. We're having to keep a close eye, especially behind the jib where we can't see. I don't know if I'm built for racing. This is kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> Oh, really well. We're doing seven and a half knots right now. Only a couple of collisions nearly had. But we've got another five miles to go down to the bottom marker and then we obviously got to come back. So we're not even halfway through the race yet. Right now we're in first. It's fun, we're sailing well and it's uh, everyone's having a good time. I didn't know how to sail. I'd never been on a sailboat before watching the channel and um, as a result I'm now sailing once a week and, and definitely trying to save up to get my own boat and yeah, just living my life through you guys until I can get my own boat. It's mind-blowing, I didn't think I'd be here at all, so it's very, very cool to be here. A little bit surreal even, but it's been well worth the journey to get here. Oh, it, it's been great to be up here with Jamie and David and Colin, of course, and the crew. It, it's been wonderful. Any day on the water is fantastic, but this is just beats all. We miss Lloyd and Buffy. Wherever you are, Lloyd and Buffy, we miss you. Devotion that brings me down. Come on, baby. You know, we're so We've got close. the mark right here. Please. Look, we're about to hit it. We have to tack, go out of a little bit, and then tack, tack back around it. We'll lose so much time. We're going to make it. We were actually sailing a really good race, which was awesome for our spectator boats to see as well. Our YouTube channel friends Ben and Ali on Breaking Waves and Aubrey on Sailing Miss Lone Star had both offered to take patrons out spectating the race each day so everyone could be out on the water every single day on a different boat if they wanted to. It was so awesome for our patrons to get a taste of sailing some monohulls as well as parlay as it is a completely different experience. We're gonna get the spinnaker ready. We're gonna jibe around that mark and head for the finish line and we'll put our spinnaker up. It's absolutely beautiful. I am so damn lucky. You have no idea. It's absolutely amazing. We love it's it. It's unreal. And thanks to Colin, I'm actually on here. Honestly, ever since they started watching Parlay, it's been a huge transformation on what they think they can do. And I think watching Parlay has given them so much inspiration to go out there, get their boat, and it's really great to see that because I don't think that would have happened without Colin and Parlay. Big thanks. Jamie and Colin and all of the crew are absolutely amazing, honestly. Amazing, absolutely amazing, kind of surreal. Having a lot of fun out here though, especially watching everybody figuring out how to adjust the sails, go a little faster, just that competitive spirit. It was a fun race, but watch this monohull come flying around the mark out of control. Wow, they're cutting really close in front of us. And jibing his mane without sheeting it in first, causing it to slam all the way out on his starboard side. You can also see the tack of their spinnaker wrapped around their forestay. We got our spinnaker back up and managed to get a few boat lengths ahead of them when all of a sudden... Oh. Believe it or not, the skipper of this boat confronted me after the race saying it was my fault that his spinnaker tore. And at the prize giving he actually got physical with our crew in front of 60 of our patrons. But we won't get into that here. Yeah. All day. This is it! We've got a home stretch. We're overtaking even, even the monoholes. 
We just passed two. If I wasn't here, I wouldn't believe it. <laughs> it's one of those things you've got to see it and experience it. You can go watch a video and really have it. Salt air in your nose, you know. Yeah. I reckon we've come close to winning it with our handicap today. We have sailed really well. I didn't even stuff up one thing. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster ride. Whee! So we doused the spinnaker and headed down the final leg towards the finish line. And we're actually in first place when all of a sudden. Oh shit! Oh my god, dude! Oh, we're gonna hit it! Oh, this is so bad. This is not good. We almost hit. The live went dead like after we went over it, so everyone probably thinks we're sinking right now. Hey guys, tell me you saw that! That's right, we almost collided with a whale doing seven knots in the middle of a regatta. You saw it! I've never seen anything like that before! You can't make this stuff up. We were literally inches away from colliding with it under full sail, which could have been catastrophic to say the least. Okay. I saw the whale! Barely! Yeah, it was barely about a meter away, and, was, and then it just went under as we went over the top. Right there. Right there. Are you not entertained? <laughs> that was like scary. It was just sitting there, and we we're coming. I'm like, we've got it. We've got it for sure. Nevertheless, we were still in first place, and now sailing back through the entire fleet of boats, still heading for the final mark. Shit, they're gaining on us. These guys are in our class, obviously. You want to slow down! So are we really winning? We never win! We had 20 patrons and 5 crew on Parlay and still doing 8 knots upwind towards the finish line until we were overtaken by an unlikely competitor. Oh man! Stop! <laughs> Look at that! Oh! No! Oh dude! He almost went over! <laughs> We finished second overall that day and had two more incredible days of racing after that. Each day was just as exciting as the last and it was just smiles all around for all of us. Awesome. Insane. Yeah. Insane. That was exciting. <laughs> that was a ton of fun. I love Colin's uh, seriousness applied to racing. I can, I can definitely relate to that. There is no better life than this. <laughs> <laughs> definitely exceeded it any expectations that I did have. It was really fun. Wow. Like, just to meet all the people. Like they're all so nice and they're so normal. Just seeing everything that sailing has to offer. Yeah. Just extras. Yeah. It's cool to see everybody like-minded come together and be able to make new friends and experience what we experience every day. Life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights It's good! It landed on land! How lucky are we? It's got a few scars, but it could have been in water. It was a meter away from the water. Pro tip, don't turn off the side sensors, okay? Just don't do that. We hit a tree. Oh, David's tired. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's okay. We were going through the Panama Canal and he was getting a shot of the boat. And just backed it straight into the side of a container ship. We heard this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Colin is the best. Sick ass day for sure. <laughs> it was awesome. We appreciate he it. He has the best boat. Ever, yeah. All the patrons here are very light hearted nice. people. It's nice to give back to Colin because Colin uh, gives so much to other people. Uh, you know, during the pandemic, I, I was going through a pretty rough time, and that's when I really, really dove into the Parlay series and uh, helped me out, helped me realize that there's more to life, you know, than the temporary stresses and, and, and pains. What a day. I think everyone's super stoked. This is one of those incredible days that we'll remember for a long, long time. At the end of an unbelievably epic three days of racing, we attended the prize-giving ceremony at Paradise Resort. We had no idea where we had placed because our handicap had to be taken into account as we watched other teams collect their prizes. And to our delight, our name was actually announced for a podium finish. Colin McRae, SB Parlay, third place, Logan Hall Division Three. Get your asses up here. So in true Parlay fashion, all 60 of us went up on stage to collect our prize, leaving no one behind. For us, it wasn't about the captain or the boat. It was truly about the camaraderie our whole team had shown for the last few days. We'd had each other's backs and encouraged and cheered each other on for three days straight and it wouldn't have mattered if we were 10th place, we were a team. 
a family from all different walks of life travelling from far and wide with the common goal of living life to the fullest. And man, were we on cloud nine. Coolest thing ever, I think, that happened. Thank oh you, Colin. I have no idea how you sailed with that many people on that was fantastic. 60 people on stage. They're going to be flying you back in for the next one. <laughs> the festivities continued long into the night, but believe it or not, we were all in bed at a relatively decent hour because we all wanted to save ourselves for what would be the party of the year the next day. Our final day together was to be spent on a super yacht courtesy of our friends Phil and Jack at Seaside Pacific Yacht Charters. These guys had become good friends over the last couple of months and their generosity for having us all out for the day will never be forgotten and man were we pumped. No watch, no diamonds, no watch, good timing, yeah. The boat was fully crewed and fully catered for the day and was most people's first time ever on a yacht like this. <laughs> Except for maybe Colleen, who works on super yachts, so took a moment to show us how to arrange a five-star toilet roll. But wait, it gets better. Here oh, we go. The reveal. Here we go. The hey. peacock! I'm the middle man, I'm the man of man, send it in. I like what I like, me, I know my rights to sip in. I like having fun, I do what I want, it's what it is. For my son and son, for my daughter's yes, for my twin. I work through the night, I do what I like. We dropped anchor and unfortunately had to say goodbye to two patrons who had to leave early to catch their flight home. So we took one last group photo and said our goodbyes. Hey! Wow, we are well trained. It has been a great time. Uh, I can't thank Colin enough. enough. Uh, Jamie, Britt, Colleen and Elle. It's been spectacular. See you guys! Hey guys, Dennis and Stacy had to leave us a little bit early, but uh, what incredible people. This whole group has just been amazing. Sad to see them go, but the party goes on. And indeed, the party went on and on. It still feels so unbelievable that a group of 60 people would fly all the way to Puerto Vallarta in Mexico to hang out with us. In the beginning, we just bought a hurricane damaged boat to fix and sail around the world. And now it seems that filming ourselves doing so has inspired others to also follow their dreams, which honestly couldn't make me happier. You've heard me say on multiple occasions that Parley just seems to attract the most amazing people. And this has been proven once again by the group of people who have shown up on our doorstep here in Mexico. Everyone was just so excited to be hanging out with each other and making new friends. There wasn't a single complaint about anything and we literally were having the time of our lives without a care in the world. Hola! Hola. Thank you for coming to the new beginning. Well, what an insanely successful experience that was. We just had the most incredible people come down. It's always a gamble inviting 60 odd people down to Parlay, which is our home, and uh, hoping that everyone's gonna get along and everyone's gonna enjoy the experience. But the uh, response that we've re received is just absolutely overwhelming. It's funny, I wouldn't, normally support anybody but I support Colin as a gold member I mean that's how much I believe in I just respect what Colin does how he built a boat instead of thinking he had to go buy one that's already fixed that's working he bought one and it made it his you know I never dreamed I'd be on a sailboat you know with someone that really is passionate about it and knew what they were doing and wants to share it with the world thank you guys you patrons uh, just make us feel so supported in, in more ways than one. And um, we just can't thank you enough. Everybody thinks that word. Thanks for everything. Thank you guys for everything, man. It's been absolutely amazing. It's been a pleasure, you guys man. I'm gonna get emotional. I'm gonna get emotional. Bye, well, uh, thanks for coming all the way down. Thank you so much. It was really amazing. Like one of the most amazing experiences of my life. 
It was the best weather, best conditions, so fun to be a part of the Banderas Bay Regatta, and to actually have Carly on the podium was epic. So we had the best time. We just aspire to this to this lifestyle. Everything Parley's about, surfing, sailing, traveling the world, and uh, you know, Colin's quote about that 20 years, you know, looking back, it's, uh, you know, time's ticking. So we just, you know, we just said, uh, screw it, let's go buy a boat, let's uh, get in this lifestyle. And everybody's so nice and it's, we're so appreciative of uh, opening up their arms and welcoming us to be part of this experience. This additional touch of sharing with uh, the people connecting individually is absolutely amazing. So, we're done. The Patreon event has come to an end. Kind of uh, relieved that it all just went so, so, so smoothly. Everything just went pretty much exactly to plan. And um, the response from the patrons has just been very humbling. You know, I already had the impression that, you know, Colin and the crew were just amazing people and, you know, salt of the earth and, and you know, but you never quite know, you know, if, if they really are maybe even partially playing a role and I think I've been more shocked that uh, they are more genuine than I even believe that they could be and uh, it's just solidified why we support the channel both by watching it and through Patreon and we'll continue to support it and can't wait for the next adventures. So we've got to know everyone a lot better and I think we've come up with uh, the perfect candidate for uh, the person that's going to come across the Pacific with us. We've offered one of our patrons um, a spot on the boat and we're gonna go break it to him now. So, Stephen, we've uh, been doing a bit of thinking and uh, I think we want to uh, invite you across the Pacific with us. Oh, fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Stephen>! <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel? Oh, I don't, beyond words. Yeah? Yeah, I just, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Did you think you are in the running for it? I had an idea I was in the running, but I mean, who knows, you know. What are you most excited about experiencing for this trip? Ocean, blue water sailing. Really looking forward to French Polynesia too. Well, you have uh, Dave to thank for a lot of it. Did a passage with me, the perfect crew. The perfect crew. But he's also been a long time supporter of, of the channel as a Patreon and we've met a few times now, yeah. even yeah. back in uh, Fort Lauderdale that first time. You impressed really the hell out of me the first time we met. So, oh, thanks, you know. man. So it's been a, a relationship that's been building and I'm excited for everyone. I'm more excited than I can express. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, man. Thanks, guys. We'll uh, go home, get some rest, and gather your things, and come back in a, a week or two. I'm gonna have a rum first. <laughs> Let's do it! <laughs> yeah. yeah! Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this special episode dedicated to our amazing patrons. Next week, we solidify the Pacific Crossing crew and do a few last minute jobs to get ready for our 3,000 mile crossing to French Polynesia. We were going to be setting sail in around 10 days, or so we thought. Whee!